in this video we take a look at how to create a very simple fashion banner like this in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody and welcome to the channel innocent here over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing a link to download all the resources that i'll be using in this video will be in the description so you can download them and practice and after you're done and you want to show it to me you can send it to me on instagram and then we can keep in touch over there now let's get into the video and let's get started first of all you're going to create a new banner size so you can press ctrl n to open a new document over here so photoshop has given you a couple of um measuring skills that you can use but feet is not part of it so in order to create something in feet you're going to convert it into inches or any other measuring skill that works for you so i'm going to create a 120 by 36 and then i'm going to reduce my resolution over here to 100 so that the size wouldn't be that much bigger so over here this is going to be 10 by 3 feet okay so if you want to create something in feet you convert it to inches and then you can use this approach to work it out now after you're done with this you go ahead and you click on create all right first of all we're going to add a gradient onto this canvas so we go to the create new fill adjustment here and then we are going to choose our gradient you go into the gradient bar and i've already set my gradient over here so this is the gradient that i used in case you want to use the same thing this is the first color and this is the second hex code or the color so you go ahead and then you click ok after you're done and ok from here and ok from here as well the next thing we want to do is we go into our resource so place embedded and then we have this material sort of rough material that i placed on it so we're going to select that and place it on top of the gradient now this is going to fill the entire canvas so we can open it up a little more like that and then we go to the blend mode set this to soft light we right click and then we are going to rasterize the layer over here so we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then we can blur this out a little bit so that it kind of blends into the background so something like this should be fine and after you're done with this you go ahead and you click ok next off you're going to create a very simple rectangle on top of this so we go for the rectangle tool here and then we can create a very simple rectangle to make sure that we are in line we can first go to view and then new guideline and then you can add a guideline of about 25 percent over here so we are just going to go back to the rectangle press ctrl t and then we are going to rotate this till it gets to the very edge of the rounded rectangle or the guide that we added so this is how it is actually going to look like now after this you can double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then you can change the color to white and click ok we can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we can go to the bottom one drag it a bit further away like this double click on the layer thumbnail and then we can choose any color from here so you can give it basically any color that fits well for you like this and then you can push it up over here a little bit like that now once we're done with this we can select the three of these ones or all of these four press ctrl g and we can call this the background now it is time to add our images so we go inside of our resource and then i have a couple of images that i got from the internet sewa so mihir nita kufu and then samira baumia so i've taken the backgrounds of some of them off and of course for some of them that's because they are already photo shoot we are not going to take the backgrounds off because it literally looks better that way so for the main images that we're going to use we are going to make sure that they are the backgrounds are taken off so the first image that i used was this particular image here so you double click on that and then you place it on top of the background so you open it up like that and then you can place it somewhere around here if it feels too small for you you can still open it up if it feels too big for you you can then close it down like that now you can right click on this and then rasterize the layer you can press ctrl l to add a bit of levels to it so that the reds will come and then you can press ctrl u as well to add some more saturation to this 
and you can also brighten it control l drag it from right to left to brighten it depending on the image that you're using but if your image is fine for you just go ahead and then you move to the next step so we have another image that we want to add so file and then place embedded one picture of anita kufu and then we place it over here now we want this underneath of the picture of sewa i'm here so we are going to drag it underneath of this layer like that and then we can push it somewhere around here all right so the same way you can right click and rasterize the layer and then you can add some levels to it and add a bit of saturation as well to make the picture pop up a little bit now you can select the two by holding control press ctrl t and then you can transform it slightly like that and push it to the left side so we realize that anita's picture is a bit small so you can select that only and open it up a little like this now it is time to add the images in the middle so to do that we are going to use the rounded rectangle over here for the radius we are going to go around 400 and then we can create a very simple rounded rectangle like this you make sure that it is very small so that you have space at the top and bottom for other information so i think around this one would do and then we can change this color to white because we are just going to clip mask the images into it so we are going to do like four of these ones so we press ctrl j and then you drag it to this side make sure that it is spaced out a little bit so that you can actually add stroke to it because we'll be adding stroke to it so i can zoom in over here so we can select the two by holding ctrl and selecting the next one and press ctrl j so that we have two more duplicates made and we leave it around here after that you can select all the four so starting from this area hold shift and then you can select the last one here go to layer and then distribute and then we are going to distribute it horizontally what this does is basically it makes sure that the spaces in between all your rounded rectangles are equal so that there will be balance in your design now it's time to insert the images into this so you select the re rounded rectangle go to file and then place embedded and then you search through your images the one that you want to insert so in this case i want to insert this picture right over here so you can position it over here double click on it and then you can right click and go to create clipping mask so it automatically gets inserted into the image if you want to get rid of the backgrounds before you insert the image that is fine as well so you press ctrl t and then you can open it up slightly like that push it down it just take your time to make sure everything is fine and then you can right click rasterize and then add some levels and hue and saturation to it or saturation to it to make it look popping like that and once you are done you can click ok now we want to add a stroke to this rounded rectangle so let's select that right click and go to the blending options here and then we can select stroke so this is the color of the stroke that i'm using you click ok and then the size is going to be around 27 so you click ok from here and then we can automatically apply this to all the other rounded rectangles that we created so you can hold alt and drag it onto the second one hold alt again drag it here and you hold alt and you drag it to the fourth one so you can close all of these ones when you are done now we can go back and select our second rounded rectangle over here go to file and then please embed it and then we can choose the image that we want to insert in this case we are going to use this image and then you right click and create a clipping mask like that and you take your time to position it so i'm going to speed up and do the rest of the images and i'll catch you when i'm done now once you're done you can select from the last image that you added and the first rounded rectangle and then you can press ctrl g to group all of that so it becomes one like this and from there you can press ctrl t to transform it if you feel like it is too big for you and take your time to position it as well so we are going to press ctrl t transform it some more like that and then we are going to place one more image over here so we go to file place embedded and then we are going to add this image right over here so you transform it up to make it bigger and you drag it to this side like so 
Now you go ahead and right click and rasterize and add effects to it. And then underneath of this image, we want to add a rectangle. So we go for our rectangle over here, right click and choose rectangle. And then you can create a very simple rectangle like this somewhere around here should be fine. And then you double click on the layer thumbnail and choose the color white and click OK. So we can select from the first image that we added here to the last image here, group all of that and call it the images. All right, so how about we close this up a little bit so something like that and then we open this image also a little bit so press ctrl t and open it up some more like this i think this should be fine all right so now we can go ahead and add our test we are using only one font in this tutorial so we go ahead and pick our test tool and on top here we are going to write so you press ctrl t and you can open this up a little bit like that and then you can take your time to position it over here now you make sure that this test is in alignment with the image that you've set over here so you can just position it right over here press ctrl j and you can make a duplicate and then we are going to change that to fashion center all right so after that you can press ctrl t and make this way smaller like so and then you can drag it to this side something like this you can select the two here press ctrl j to group them and try to transform it as to how you really want it to be like and then you can reposition it as well afterwards we can select only the fashion center right click on it and go to the blended options and then we are going to add a gradient overlay to it so we select the gradient overlay here and this is the colors that i used so this is the first one okay and then this is the second color so once you can change it to any color of course as well and then you can click okay and then okay and okay from here now we can go to the bottom and then we are going to add another rounded rectangle over there for the contact details or the information so we select the rounded rectangle over here and we are going to create a very simple basic rounded rectangle and place it somewhere around here now you can drag this at the bottom a little bit like that and we are going to change the color to white and click ok all right so first off we are going to add the call icon and then the whatsapp icon so you go to file and then please embed it and then we have the call icon over here so you double click on it there are some of them that you not get it as a png like this but in case you have an issue like that i made a video to cover that up so you can check it out so you can place the call icon over here right click and rasterize the layer and then right click again go to the blending options and then we can select the color overlay now we are going to select the color from here and click ok and then ok now we can add the whatsapp icon as well so file please embed it and then we can scroll down to our whatsapp icon you press ctrl t transform it a little bit like that and you make sure that you've positioned it to be in on the same line with the call icon and then you can right click and rasterize it and then hold alt and drag the effect on this onto the whatsapp icon so something like this and after that you're going to add your test or your call your phone number to it so for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just going to add my number so we can select the whole of this test and then choose this particular color for it as well and we take our time to position it over here you press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit like that so you position it over here as well and then you can select the number and the icons and take your time to reposition it to make it look way nicer now if you have a venue or a location you can just come quickly over here select this particular group and then you push it down a little bit like that and then you make your test smaller and then you can add your location as well but for the sake of this tutorial and since we don't have any location I think this is going to be fine so after that we are just going to get rid of the guideline over here all right so finally let's just select all of these and call them the info or contact info something like that 
so basically that's it that's how to create a very simple basic fashion so if you are into fashion um for you can use the same thing for men styles and all that if you are into fashion or if you want to design something i hope you grab inspiration from this let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this design and if you're able to recreate this send it to me on ig so that we will get in touch over there if this video was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be so very colorful thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye